Hey everyone, this is Ivan from Yellowfin, and in this video, I'll present some of the key highlights from the Yellowfin 9.6 release. Let's take a look at one of my dashboards here. In this release, we are introducing the all new data storytelling feed for your actionable dashboards. Within this feed, you will have instant access to contextual stories, long form analysis in an article like format that allows business users to tell compelling narratives with data directly from Yellowfin. The data storytelling feed can be personalized to only display stories that are relevant to content on the dashboard. And you can also customize how the feed looks like with the properties panel on the right. As part of this enhancement, you can now select story templates from within the feed allowing you to quickly create templates based on existing stories. This enables you and other story authors to save time when writing recurring stories, like end of month sales reporting, without starting from scratch. All you have to do is select the stories that you want templates to be based on, and let's preview this dashboard and see how story templates work. With several templates ready to go, authors can now click on the Add to Feed button here, select any story template, Let's go for the end of month reporting one and immediately start on a fresh copy of the existing story. In this case, all you need to do is update the narratives for this month's results. And another thing we've done here is enhance stories with story filters. In Yellowfin 9.6, you can now simply set and save the filter values for your embedded reports and charts directly within the story. Following our current scenario, you can simply filter everything to June publish the end of month story for this month and be assured that everyone will view the right data within the story. And once you've done that, the new story will be available at the top of the feed for other consumers to read and immediately get the context behind the dashboard's numbers. Let's scroll down this dashboard and have a look at the video widget. We have enhanced the video widget to support additional video providers so you can now embed video from popular platforms including YouTube, Dailymotion, Vimeo, and even TED Talks. Simply drag the video widget into the canvas, paste the respective sharing URL, and you now have new embedded digital media in your dashboards and presentations. Let's now switch to the Sales KPI dashboard and have a look at Global Containers. Global Containers are panels that you can populate with widgets on both sides of the dashboard. You now have an option to make whatever you drag into these containers sticky. The most popular widget that gets dragged into these containers are dashboard filters. So that means when you're scrolling through a long dashboard, your dashboard filters will remain visible and accessible to you, decreasing the amount of scrolling needed to set these filters. For reports on a dashboard, we have also introduced a new option where you can display your tabular reports exactly the way you want it. For example, you might have previously set custom widths for your columns in a report builder and want those same widths to be preserved here. In this release, you can simply toggle this new option on the dashboard and a tabular reports widths will follow your custom ones, regardless of the space allocated to it in your canvas or predefined dashboard layouts. Last but not least, we have introduced a new slide picker for Yellowfin Present, both in preview and publish mode. Rather than scrolling through large presentations with the arrow keys or using the slider below, you can now use the slide picker to jump directly to any slide as you're presenting. For data discovery, we have introduced new chart options to help you perform deeper customizations within your charts. But before we show all of that, let's take a quick look at some of these metrics here. Here we have several metrics, some with dollar sign prefixes, a unit so total with zero decimal places, and a volume metric with liters as a suffix. Essentially, a few different metrics with different column formatters applied. In previous releases, Yellowfin would simply display the raw data or summarize values in the chart axes. In 9.6, you now have the ability to apply column formatting to your chart axis values. Select that and your charts will automatically apply the column formatters. Note that this can be switched on on a global level within the admin console, which will then make this the applied default. For this next chart, it's a stacked bar chart, picked from the chart selector on the right, and it's a time series chart set to display months. 
Unlike auto charts, there will be no category spacing available here. However, in this release, we have included the category spacing option for these kind of stacked bar charts. Let's select two for now, and the chart will refresh as such. This enhancement covers stacked bars in overlay and combination charts as well. Let's now focus on this third chart, where you have a chart that shows sales across account segments. Notice how large comes first before medium. Now, sorting it by ascending or descending order by the metric doesn't quite solve it, and alphabetical order doesn't help either. So what you really need is a custom sort. Now, that's exactly what reference codes help with. And if you're not aware, reference codes are a business translation layer they can set up in advance to translate values held in the database to something more meaningful in the report. It's virtualized and can also be used to apply custom sorting and images to each ref code value. For this column here, we're not translating much, but applying a custom sort order going from small, medium, large, and strategic. In 9.6, you can now also apply reference code sort orders not just for your reports, but also to your chart dimensions and colors. So, let's select that here for account segment and choose to sort it in ascending in regards to the custom sort order. And now you get bars in the order of small, medium, large, and strategic, which is exactly what you want. For the fourth example, let's take a look at auto charts. In the Elephant, we smartly switch on and off chart axis titles and such depending on the space allocated for a chart. So if you resize this scatter plot to a very small size, you'll see the axis titles disappear because the chart is more important. However, there are cases where you might want to retain some of these according to your chart design spec. In this release, you can now control this under your axis settings. We have enhanced the show hide axis title to include always show or hide options alongside the automatic option. So let's select show for the vertical axis and leave it as automatic for the horizontal one. Going back to the chart, you'll now see that the chart's vertical axis always appears regardless of the chart size. Last but not least is the introduction of a logarithmic axis. If you want to display large varied values in a compact way, for example, showing exponential growth or decline, you can immediately switch this on for your charts by going into your axis settings and changing the axis scale to logarithmic, which immediately refreshes your entire chart into that scale for you. All in all, a whole bunch of chart enhancements in this release to help you create charts just the way you want them to be. Let's now switch gears and take a look at this tabular report. It's a simple monthly sales growth report by store types and account segments filtered by 2018 in the year filter here. When you broadcast this report to other users in your organization, you now have the ability to include filter tags to personalize the email subject line. We've received customer feedback that users who receive multiple broadcasts over a short time period want a quick way to glance over their emails and know what that broadcast was about. This is also particularly useful for scenarios where the filter values are dynamic. And that's it for key highlights today. For all other enhancements and improvements in Yellowfin 9.6, you can view the release notes on our website and join the conversation in our community. Don't forget to check out our wiki, blog, and resources page for more information on the Yellowfin suite. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.